Hi, this is Tom Oding at the University of Iowa. I'm going to show you a case we did a couple weeks ago where we placed an SN60WF lens and the single piece acrylic lens seemed to be going just fine. The lens went in, in an, into a nice position. Both of the haptics uh, came along nicely. But as the lens began to unfold, we noticed there was a central mar of the inocular lens. Sometimes these lenses will get little mars uh, as you place the lens in, possibly from rubbing on a cartridge. But in this case, it was right in the center. So I decided to go ahead and remove the lens. I used some Duckworth and Kent Osher IOL cutters, which are nice because they're a little bit serrated and they easily cut through these lenses. I held the lens with one of the externalized haptics and I cut it almost all the way across, just leaving a little bit attached still so that that part would come out as I brought the first half out of the eye. And so now using some 0.12 forceps with some teeth, the IOL was brought out of the eye. It takes a little bit of force to do this. Sometimes you have to use two forceps to get it to come out. In this case, you can see it's still attached a little bit, and that helps you to get the other half out. And uh, another IOL was placed. In this case, there was no mar on the second try. You can see that the trailing haptic, though, is out a little bit, uh, which uh, made it a two-step process to place this lens uh, into the eye. I usually place a suture when something like this happens, because sometimes the uh, wound is a little bit bigger than usual. Uh, and so it's a good idea to go ahead and make sure uh, that it's sealed by placing that suture. This is Tom Lowe at the University of Iowa. Thank you very much.